Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the reason you need Expel Wrap. I am committed to safe driving while pelting you with thousands of pebbles. What are the odds? There's a GT350 coming up right behind me. That's awesome. All right guys, for my first pull ever, we are in drag strip mode with the advanced traction set to drag strip mode, sport mode exhaust, um, normal steering, I guess that just automatically sets to normal when you have track mode on. Um, launch control on, I have it set to 4,500 RPMs. You can go anywhere from 4,000 to 6,000. For my first one, I'm gonna keep it a little bit conservative at 4,500. Um, and then as I mentioned, drag strip mode on. I have my performance shift indicator set to 6,700 RPMs. You can go anywhere from 3,000 to 8,200. Um, you can have a tone as well. I don't wanna have it right now. I'll try it out later. Um, you can put your, uh, change your shift mode here. I'm not really sure. I haven't experimented with what the differences are, but I will. I have it set to drag. Um, and then your light intensity, I put up to 100. Um, let's see if we can show you here if I lower it. That's 90%, um, 70%, and then back up to 100%. Just uh, reflecting off of the windshield. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna shift lightly using my fingertips if I can, just to show you that I'm not jamming the shifter into gear. We got a bit of a little uphill here and then a downhill and a little bit of a curve. So this isn't the ideal place, but it's probably the safest place, hopefully, to do my first launch on this car. Um, I'm going to be not dropping the clutch, but doing a semi-quick release. Make sure there's no cars. All right, here we go. Traction loss. I don't see my time here. Man, that power of this car. Love the power of this car. It's only 36 more horsepower than my 2018 Mustang GT, but you can you can feel it. I mean, it, it rips. This is not a drag racer. This is a track car. This car is for cornering. Um, but that acceleration force was awesome. It was so much more. It felt so much more than my 2018 Mustang GT. Although I know that um, 18 GTs with auto are gonna walk me all day long. But I just, compared to my manual 18 GT, that the power was just awesome. Bad start. Five point six. All right. So awesome launch, really super fun. The power is unbelievable. That the torque, the force unbelievably fun but again this is not a drag racer this is a track beast um, it does have a mean launch but um, I just haven't been able to find the right conditions yet the car is capable of I believe at least 4.1 4.2 I know that the R version can go to 3.9 anyway good fun It's a tad hot to be doing launches at 95 degrees here in New York. But it's been monsoon season here for the past like month. It's been raining on and off, mostly on. Um, and it's a nice sunny day and I wanna get out and do some launches for you guys. Now, the other day I did a couple of launches and I wasn't very impressed with the results. 5.5 seconds, 5.6 seconds, lots and lots of wheel spin. Um, I'm just gonna do another one or two today 
I'm gonna modulate the clutch and gas a little bit more. Uh, maybe, maybe on the release, I'm going to slip the clutch for a fraction of a second just to help the wheels hook, you know, without spinning out and killing the drivetrain. So yeah, given the heat um, and that this is not actually a drag strip and I can't do line locks on the road I'm going to, um, I don't expect to get any killer times today, but just want to have a good time, um, let you guys share in the, in the sights and the sounds of this awesome, beautiful car that is the GT350. All right, here we go. This is how we get a serious POV. I'm gonna stop after this car up here. Safety first, guys. went sideways a little bit there um, just a little bit of fun on that one not really going for a record I'm just trying to find that sweet spot I'm not really used to this car yet but the sweet spot between modulating the clutch and the gas pulled the gas back a little bit more that time slipped the clutch a little bit more that time but we uh, you know fishtailed a little bit there freaking awesome power man such a fun car all right, that's going to be the last launch because I don't want to kill the car. I do want to get more experience with the clutch. But yeah, super fun. I might do one, um, another launch without the um, launch control. I did have a Ford engineer tell me, uh, between you guys and me, that he doesn't use the launch control. It's just a bit too much traction loss and it's hard on the, a bit too hard on the drivetrain. Got to get some gas. Anyway, that last one, even though I was just having a little bit of fun with it, um, shifting a little bit carefully, taking a fraction of a second between first and second to let the synchros do their thing. Uh, but we got 5.6 again. I can see when I get a little bit more, um, when I get a little bit more experience with the power coming out of this thing, I could definitely see getting into the uh, into the low fours. It's just right now, this it's a bear with all that torque and power. Also want to come back when it's not super hot out. It did look, does look like it cooled down a bit to 83 degrees. Oh, let's just do a regular pull here real quick. I don't want to burn up the clutch or anything, but let's do it. Love those launches, man, <laughs> going sideways. Modulated a little bit better there, taking the gas off to get traction back up. But man, this thing rips. So much fun. So awesome. If you guys have advice on any of those launches, feel free to, to give it in the comments, hopefully in a constructive way. Guys, look at that sky, man. I don't want to get all sappy on you, but... can't even begin to comprehend God's power and awesomeness. Hope that doesn't offend anybody. Because I don't care. There is no way an awesome GT350 and sound like this could exist without God creating it. Thumbs up if you agree.